We know a fair amount about person-to-person -person transmission of the coronavirus, but what about transmission from surfaces? Researchers at SDSU are enlisting an army of volunteers to swab different surfaces around them to help answer that question. 10 News reporter Matt Boone shows us how it works. So you will receive a kit that will come in a, in a cooler. Maria Isabel Rojas shows off the kit that's sent out to volunteers. These are the little swabs, the little synthetic swabs. Rojas is a PhD candidate at SDSU and is leading this project in the lab of Dr. Forrest Rower. Her team is trying to answer two main questions. First, can the virus really be found on surfaces that we interact with somewhat regularly, like the bottom of your shoe or a light switch, for example? And if so, where are the hot spots? We do encourage places where they come into contact with, like uh, uh, the gas pump, right, the ATM, um, but also places at your home. While some of the test areas may be household surfaces or normal things to interact with, the whole premise of the study suggests it could put people in touch with the virus. So protection is required. We do request people to wear PPE while they're doing the sampling. In the kits, they've included gloves, hand sanitizer, an N95 mask, and in some cases, a 3D printed mask with changeable filters. All the samples will be documented through their website, and once the DNA is processed in the lab, the data will be analyzed by mathematician Naveen Vaidya. Uh, he'll be able to tell us more as to how this, this virus is distributed and uh, to what extent its presence in the environment could contribute to transmission in the community. Matt Boone, 10 News. The lab is still looking for volunteers to collect samples throughout San Diego. We posted a link on our website, 10news.com, on how to sign up. Just go to our homepage and click on the Resource Center.